To counter your opponent choking you from behind while seated, grab your opponent's thumb and pull it away from your throat. Grab his neck with your free hand. Lean to the side as you pull his neck down and his arm back, freeing your head. Grab his hand with your fingers on his thumb and your thumb on the other edge of his hand. Pull down with your fingers and push up with your thumb as you turn and pull his neck down. Pivot your whole body to get better leverage and free your head. While keeping control of his neck, twist his arm behind his back. Twist the edge of his hand towards his back. To counter your opponent grabbing your collar while seated, grab and twist your opponent's hand to break his grip. Use your forearm to bend his elbow, twisting it in to take him down. Grab his hand with your fingers on his thumb and your thumb against the back of his hand. Twist his hand so his palm faces up, prying his thumb off your collar. Hook his elbow with your wrist and pull in. Twist a hand and pull his elbow, making his forearm horizontal. Lean your body into the movement, keeping his forearm trapped against your body. To counter your opponent grabbing your collar with both hands, break your opponent's grip and lock his elbow with your forearm. Use your leg on his shoulder to take him down. Grab his wrist, placing your thumb behind his thumb. Pry his fingers up so that his palm faces up. Hyperextend his arm with your forearm, rolling his shoulder forward. Use your leg to pin his shoulder to the floor. Lean your body to the side for the arm lock. Follow this momentum with your leg, shifting from sitting on a chair to kneeling on the floor. To counter your opponent grabbing your hand when seated next to you, grab his wrist with your free hand. Use your forearm to hyperextend his elbow, keeping his hand locked to your wrist. Slide your forearm up his arm to pin his shoulder to the floor. Follow your opponent down, staying close to his body so as not to overextend your grip. Press down with your forearm while twisting his wrist back. To counter your opponent placing his arm around your shoulders, trap his arm by wrapping your arm around his. Use your palm of your free hand to press his chin back to hyperextend his neck. Squeeze his arm above his elbow with your armpit. Standing up will increase your leverage for pressing back his chin. To counter your opponent grabbing and punching you, block his punch with your closer hand. Use your other hand to press his elbow up as you bring his wrist down behind his shoulder.
press his elbow to his opposite shoulder to jam his arm. Trap his grabbing hand underneath your armpit. To counter your opponent choking you from behind while kneeling, grab his hand and clear your airway. Turn your body to throw him over you. Grab his hand, pulling his thumb down to twist his arm. Twist the little finger side of his hand toward the center of his back. In this variation, pull his arm down and twist to free your head. Bring his hand behind his back and press his shoulder to the ground. Twist his little finger up as you use your other hand to pull his shoulder forward. Bring his thumb to the center of his back, pushing it towards his neck. In this variation, grab his wrist and shoulder and throw your opponent over your back. Roll with him so that you continue to twist his arm. Lean your whole upper body into the throw, keeping hold of his wrist and shoulder in his torso with your elbow and twist the back of his hand to the floor. To counter your opponent kicking you when you are lying on the floor, block with your forearm and catch his ankle with your other hand. Grab his ankle with both hands and roll your body over to take him down. After grabbing his ankle, keep your arms locked in front of you and use the weight of your rolling body to throw your opponent. While kicking, your opponent's balance is on one leg. Since you are already on the floor, your balance is not at all. Finish with your stomach on the ground. To counter your opponent trapping your legs and punching you, block his punches in such a manner to cross his arms. Pull him forward, then twist and lock his arms to pin him. As you apply the arm twist, use your legs to assist you, first by upsetting his balance, then second by pinning his arms. Twist his arms so that his elbows are locked within each other. This will lock his entire upper body, making him vulnerable to the takedown. To counter your opponent punching you from the front, grab his fist with both hands and twist his thumb out. Roll your body using all your weight to twist his arm. Use your knee to assist in the arm lock by pressing the shoulder down to the floor. Lock his upper arm with your leg as you press his palm to the floor. To counter your opponent punching you from behind, trap his wrist, then hyperextend his elbow, pin his shoulder with your knee. In this variation of the front punch, grab his wrist and hyperextend his wrist and elbow the other direction, pinning his shoulder to the floor.
in the punch from behind, turn your face to your opponent as you block. Use your other forearm to hyperextend his elbow, pressing it to the floor. In this variation, grab your opponent's fist and twist it using your whole body to turn into the twist. Twist his arm so the back of his hand faces the ground, pinning his upper arm with your knee. To counter your opponent choking you while straddling you, focus on one arm by grabbing his hand and hyperextending his elbow. Twist and roll to bring his shoulder to the floor. Place your thumb by his thumb and pry the little finger side of his hand up with your fingers. Keep twisting his hand as you press his elbow. <laughs> 